Day 93 under the dome. With necessities growing dangerously low, who knows what spark will set off this powder keg. I can't take another minute in this dome! <laughs> Anywhere and everywhere, folks, this is Dome, um, the world's number one greatest freestyle rap and comedy podcast. Uh, I'm uh, Bubba Y, at Bubba Y, my co-host, the Sultan Satire, sitting across from me, Dave, and we have a special guest, a surprise drop-in. We didn't even know this guy existed until yesterday um, when we found out he was flying in from Florida. We have old friend of the show, Shade. He's never actually been on the show, but... We've been adjacent to this fool for a while. I've shot a couple of videos for the guy. Uh, that crinkling you heard at the opening was him rolling a very fat joint. <laughs> Got ash all over his hands. Yo, 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 yo. And there's also more people in the studio right now than have ever been in our house. <laughs> <at once. laughs> We we've, we've got a whole crew of goons, we folks. We got the team with us. Why don't we? Can, can we flash that that big fat sack in front of the camera lens real flash quick? The sack. Yes, yeah. sir. Let's just say they brought enough to share with the class. Boom. <laughs> yeah. Hell yeah, Shay. Thanks for being here, dude. Uh, thanks for having me, bro. How's uh, how's Florida? It's lit, man. Do you uh, do people just like open carry? Oh yeah, it's it's everybody packing down there. You know what I'm saying? All colors, all nationalities. But what about the weed? Is the weed and the gun combination a problem? Uh, I mean, it, a problem? I don't know. I mean, it's it happens. If you get caught, is it a problem? Oh fuck yeah! Oh, okay. You're done. You're done. <laughs> That's I can it. only imagine. <laughs> the uh, weed's not even too good either. So is it legal? Like, no, no, no. Oh, damn. It's illegal to have them both, you know. But still, do it. But you can't go to dispensaries over there. Nah, not if you unless you have a med card. Oh, they got it's the medical. They got the medical. Well, shit. Now I'm I'm curious. What uh, what would be? <clears throat> what would be? Would you say the closest you've gotten to being nabbed, or or if you have been nabbed, you got any stories about that? <laughs> Man, bro. Yeah, actually, here one time I got flicked. I had like 30 peas on me. Damn. Mm -hmm. A money counter and like 15 for, racks. For, the, for our white listeners, what, is the P, what does peas stand for? <laughs> I had a I had a pound, 30 right, pounds on me. Allegedly, allegedly. Allegedly, yeah. Allegedly. No, you know what I'm saying? Off the record. But uh, nah, they pulled me over and, um, you know, he flicked me because he seen me. They say in L.A., what's more important for than our Carson. white listeners flicked <laughs> <laughs> they pulled me over so basically <laughs> basically uh <laughs> basically they yeah. pulled me over pulled me over, flick me up and them cracks stick me up yeah got me fucked yeah. up got me yeah. fucked up yeah Got Yo, the po po up. got me fucked up. Yeah, you know, bro, they pull me over and I'm so, so blow blowed. Yeah, you know, no, I got 30 P's. You got 30 P's, about to make me 30 G's off of the weed. But the damn P, -P, P O L I C, they got me, please. Don't pull me over, I'm just a brother. Don't, don't shoot, don't make me, don't I'm a lover. Yeah, pull yeah. me over with 30 P's. Now I'm doing time till I'm 33, uh, like I'm Jesus. Woo. Yeah, you know I got Venus, Venus. Yeah. Uh, brain, hey, hey. hella brain. I'm smoking grain every day. I'm playing Woo! like the fucking uh, uh, hey. white bread, bitch. Say, what? I'ma get about the way. Whoa. When the police come, I'ma get about the way. Yeah. When the police come. And <laughs> hey, that's a hit right there. There, there we go. go. That's yeah. a hit. Hit a banger in like two seconds. Nah, but on God, we got out of that shit though. The cop pulled me over because you know. Car, car insurance isn't as important as window tint here in LA. Right. You know what I'm saying? So So he couldn't see the peas. Nah, he did he, he but no, this was fucked up. He arrested me, you know what I'm saying? Put me in the car and he's like, yo, what's in the car? I'm like, dude, it's just fucking weed. He's like, I don't care. So I, I showed him the weed. He turned his camera off. A shit ton of you showed him all the weed? Dude, he started opening the bags and smelling the bags and like my, I got he had to prove it was weed. Dude, he's like, uh, what strain is this? I'm like, uh, you know, it's just some gelatos, you know. He's like, Yeah, it's not that good. Damn, cop just being chill. Dude, I uh, I'm telling you, bro, Cali's different. That is different. impressive. That's yeah. crazy. You, yeah. you could be dead right now. Yeah, oh for sure. I could be out of here. Out of here. You know what I'm saying? He, was he what ethnicity was he? Was he white? He was like he was Hispanic. Okay. I definitely think he was Hispanic, but uh 
you know, he showed me a picture of a, a pistol on his phone. He's like, I'm trying to score one of these. <laughs> I'm like, well, can't help you there. You found the right cop. Yeah. <laughs> Let's yeah, just say you yeah. got pulled over. You got so lucky in yeah. that scenario. <laughs> oh, facts. Yeah, I won't be going back to El Segundo. Yeah, That's won't crazy, see shade man. There, that fool almost asked for a bribe. That dude was like, help me out. Like, you know, scratch my back. Right, I was. I thought he, maybe he was going to take one of your peas. Dude, I would have let him. Fuck oh, it. my God. Of course. That's, That's a crazy. great deal. Insane. Yeah. That's a <laughs> <laughs> I was more worried about getting robbed where I was at than getting arrested. Cause where we were, it was yeah. El Segundo. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah, we was deep. Mm-hmm. We was deep. <laughs> I was and mind you, I had like 15k cash bundled up in my hand. Uh, speaking of deep, did did everyone here show up in the same vehicle? No, uh, no. Nah. Oh, okay. hey, hey, <laughs> we we be on that though, you know, if we have to. Oh, I don't doubt you. Nah, we showed up two cars <laughs> deep. You know what I'm saying? Like, um, <laughs> 45 minutes before the podcast, Shay was like, "Oh, I'm just charging the car real quick." <laughs> I'll be right there. And in my head, I'm like, oh, it takes two hours to charge the car. Oh, yeah. Yeah, and not I, with us, man. We, bro, bro was push, pushing 100 in the Tesla here. So, you know. That's crazy. Yeah, though. he was sliding. In the fast track. That's the dedication oh, we yeah. like from our guests. Yeah, we was sliding. <laughs> we was on the way. Bro, you were you were on time. I, I think you got here at like 12.05. I was surprised. I, I assumed <laughs> that it was going to be way later. So I, I appreciate you, uh, of course. you know, taking a risk and driving 100. Of course, I appreciate y'all having me. I couldn't be late. Some some insider lore for the Dominicans out there. Uh, uh, the the soundboard is actually was was a gift from Shade. Uh, oh yeah. yeah. I, when I when hey, I yeah. shot I shot a video with him and John, uh, who's also in the room over there in the corner. Uh, mm-hmm. We we shot a video uh, for was it Top Dog? Yes, is that sir. The name. Go check that that track out. It's a dope video, dope song yes, as sir. well, yeah, and uh, you know a little, a little parting gift for helping with the video. I got this little Akai. And I totally turned it into a soundboard. Bro, I haven't, I haven't hey, made a single hard. beat off of that. It's thing. crazy because I walked in. I'm like, damn, it looks oh. familiar. Bro, like, Top Dog sick. gets stuck in my head pretty often. Yeah, you fuck with it. That's that song's hard, dude. Yeah. I it's like the catchiest shit. Yeah. I've ever heard. I yeah. fuck with it too. I y'all appreciate both, that. Y'all, y'all are both pretty talented. Yeah. Thank you. Uh, Both you I, mean I, him and me? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, you. Hey, hey, you got the we're, raps. Bro. We're gonna we're gonna be getting we're gonna be getting some Dave beats, I assume, on the pods. I don't unless, know. I don't, <laughs> unless I deleted them, I might. Have, I removed some beats to make oh, room yeah. for some yeah. other beats. But oh. this is a Dave original, so you gotta see. Yo, the uh. Sultan satire. He's got a lot of hits and kicks and eight oh eights, and they're coming out his lips. Yo, first thing I do, I insert the MIDI clip. That's the terminology I use in Ableton, and then I fucking throw the blue compressor on that bitch and then i turn it up until my fucking ears bleed uh spitting on the mic like hootie who <laughs> you know i'm only making beats and song fruity loops Ooh. Ooh. who said i couldn't i put it down man they surely said i wouldn't uh they said i got glue on my beat my beats what? are sticky <laughs> I, I i got adhesive yo and then i got the blick damn that's how it is for the yeah. white folks, that's a gun, and I keep it in between my lips. Uh, I'll share it with your kids. Damn. After school, after I'm finished selling them some sniz. Oh, I'm pulling shit. up the EQ with three dudes. Yeah, we out in Beirut. <laughs> fucking, <laughs> fucking, woo! Hey, that's hot. Hey, y'all, y'all be spitting. I ain't gonna lie. Well, hey, well, that's the point. How much for the <laughs> we gotta get out there? How much for the feature? Fifteen k cash. How about that? Just subscribe no, to the okay, Patreon, okay. and we'll. <laughs> okay, okay. Yeah, no, we don't. We we, uh, we only sell Patreon uh, subscriptions. So, no, I, I've actually, I feel like I'm a better feature rapper than I am at writing my own stuff. Right, because There's, then you don't have to come up with a concept. Then you the, just the pressure's not there, yeah. and that just automatically results in better stuff. I, I feel that. Yeah, I feel that. That's you don't got to make as much as like, fuck it, I can, I can sprint for this long. I feel like 2 Chains is the same way. Like yeah. Every 2 Chains feature right here is like the best 2 Chains verse I've ever heard. Yeah, he's hot with it, bro. Yeah. The best then, two- then his solo stuff is good, but I'm like... It's yeah, fine, it's yeah. Better, his feature stuff is better. The best 2 Chains feature is on Bees in the Trap with Nicki Minaj. <laughs> yes. <laughs> is that, wait, 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 no. Is that the uh, call her big... She's got a big booty, so I call her big booty. Uh, I don't think that's well, it. What about the that? my dick so hard it makes the metal detector go? I think on. that's bees in the trap. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, bro. He's got them. He's got them punchlines for sure. Are you still doing like twelve hour studio sessions, falling asleep in the studio, shit like that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was actually telling my guys about that shit. Like, anytime we out here in LA, we're fucking, we're doing blocks. We, you know, we got the studio set up in the crib right now. So uh, we I'm, just, I remember when we pulled up to the studio uh, where you guys were at, and yeah. um the the management of the studio was like pissed that you guys didn't have an engineer 
<laughs> or like that you guys were running the shit yourselves <laughs> and they kept on acting all suspect. Man, that and was you, a while ago. And you guys had been there for like eight hours. I was just like, damn, this is crazy. <laughs> yeah, that's crazy. I don't even remember what studio was it. Was I, it? I barely remember that as well. Damn. But I do I do very vaguely remember that. <laughs> no, I just remember Juan being like, let me know when you're outside. I'll come let you in. And that was the first time. Because like for all uh, just, you know, not not to, with all due respect. You don't necessarily look like someone who would know his way around Pro Tools. Oh, or, yeah. <laughs> no, I, no, I feel it, bro. It's actually crazy because uh, that's what I do over in Siesta. Um, I run a studio. I'm an engineer there. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's where I started. I learned how to do that. So I feel you. No, I'll be a wizard on the computer. I'm actually looking No, I've, I've seen the master at work for sure. And, and you <laughs> and, and uh, you respect the, your equipment as well. Like, you have you yeah. got, like, or last time I checked in with you, you had the badass Akai computer thing. Oh, yeah. That, you talking like about the, the built in yeah, uh, uh, LCD NBC standalone. Yeah, 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 that shit is crazy. Yeah. That's actually. when you know you're serious about making beats. The hardware where you can just make the beat off the hardware, like all the, I mean, you still have to have it plugged in, right? Yeah. You have to load up no, samples too, I think. Oh, right? you don't have to have it plugged you in. No, it's a standalone. It's crazy because me and bro, John, uh, we were in the bay when we got that. And when we were shopping for it, he said, let me get the one off display. You're like, yeah, because they didn't have any in the back. And they're like, yo, fuck it. And uh, yeah, that was the best. That was one of the best decisions we ever made. But How much it, is that? It was like cool. Like what, bro? What was it? Like 2K? Yeah, two K. It's a bit's a hefty piece of equipment. It, it's big. It's like it's like half the size of this table. And it broke shortly no after way. you seen it. Yeah, oh, man. dude, it just like died. It just just turned off. Damn, you didn't have your backup anymore. <laughs> no, nah, no, but I got a new one. I got a little uh, Akai. It's like the little tabletop size one. Mm -hmm. You know. So what's up? Is there like a is there a Florida sound still going out there? You know what I'm saying? Like, oh, for sure. It's like a apparent. You can tell that this person's from Florida when they make music. Oh uh, yeah. You think you're popping off more out there than you were here? I wouldn't say that. Um, probably still here more. Okay. You know what I mean, okay. But uh, I'm definitely getting a lot more connected in Florida. That's actually where I did my first show. I hopped on the D Savage tour. It's about uh, to be fucking hot Florida. out there. Oh, dude, it's fucking killer. Is it's it like, hot right now? Yeah, it's like 90 degrees by fucking 10 a.m. I mean, it's gonna be like 115 shit. come summer. Yeah. I mean, this is about to be the hottest summer of our lives, like collectively. I'm yeah, pretty sure. I, I'm afraid of that. <laughs> yeah, but you know, out in Florida, it's more humidity and shit. It's right. like I don't I'm know, man, fuck, bro. We're fucking dry lips we're, we're dying dude it's, our throats is dry it, well it, no matter how hot it gets out here it's never going to be as bad as it is in florida just over there you get all it's sticky yeah. and yeah. humidity yeah i used to think i didn't like the humidity but now i'm like dude i need that shit it's yeah it's at least if there's a cool breeze yeah, some of the moisture you have on your here. body will mm. will cool you off a little bit i hopefully. like i like cuban people mm. Whenever, okay. I'm in, whenever I'm in Florida, I like a Cuban sandwich. Yo, I fuck with motherfucking <laughs> Cubans. The peeps yeah. and the paninis, both um. of them, yeah. I want some mustard on my shit, then I eat it. Yeah, I'm super tired, bitch. I'm depleted. Yo, I love some Cuban sandwiches love it. with some maju. Yeah, Ooh. I'm in Florida and I'm eating sandwiches with you. Ooh. I just <laughs> bought some Ben and Jerry's, but it melted before I got to my car. Oh my God, it's hot. Life in Florida is hard. Uh, I don't do the Philly, only roll the Cubans. Uh, little mama back, I think she Cuban. Mm. Man, I'm like, where's my Cubans? Ooh. Man. Yeah, I got banked like Mark Rubin. Oh my God, that hottie. Oh my God, dog. You seen her? Seen her walk back with the booty. Yeah, I think she Latina. Woo! About to go to the restaurant, buy everything she need, dog. Oh, Ooh, I'm feeling good. <laughs> hey, yo. I think, we, yo, we got a steady hits. Like, this is like, it's meant to be. That's bro. I already used That's the banger clockwork. sound drop. Otherwise, I can't use the banger sound drop two songs in a row. I think you used it on the first one, then not the second oh, one. So I can use it? You made a banger in like two seconds. <laughs> you guys are missing out. You guys can't hear the song. Oh, man, bro. It's lit. It's now, I'm, lit. I get anxiety because whenever people bring people to the studio and we're rapping and they can't hear the beat, I just imagine how retarded we look from their point of view. And okay. usually it's only nah. like two people. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nah, we probably <laughs> not look, eight. You probably <laughs> look Way funnier in the car rapping, bro. Cause ain't nothing on sync. We just saying lines every couple seconds. That's like, how. That's how we. Came know, out, you know what I'm saying? Niggas is jumping in. It's we funny. came. That's how Future does it. I'm pretty sure. <laughs> I wouldn't doubt it, bro. For <laughs> sure. So. That's how we came up rapping mm. in the car. Okay. Oh, okay. That's the way to do it. Actually, there was one time where I tried to record like bonus content for this. Yeah. And we got in the car and I brought like the mic and I started playing beats in there and I was just. 
our homie was driving and I was just rapping while he drove. Mm-hmm. Um, but then we just never dropped it. But I thought it was a good idea until we got in the car and it felt dangerous. It like felt I was, dangerous. I was distracting this fool way too much. You know what's crazy? Bro's been trying to get me to, John's been trying to get me to do that for a minute, you know, make a hit in the car. And I, I, I'm I, sleep on it. I feel like that might be a move. For it, sure. it does seem like there's this new, like, it doesn't even... The song itself no longer matters. Like it's uh, how yeah. you deliver the song right. to the audience is what actually uh, counts. Right. So like yeah, maybe you need to be like in a trash can rapping or oh, something yeah, yeah. on TikTok. Or, like whatever whatever gets people to like, oh, this is this is a thing that my brain can consume easily and, yeah. and not cause me stress and then oh, there's a song attached to it. Maybe I'll go look that up. <laughs> It's Fact. it's de- it's fucked up, honestly. It, yeah, it, it's <laughs> different, bro. What's up? Are, are you making money on on streams? You know, I'm making a little something, some. That's know. bro. I feel like that's that's the key right now. For sure. Just drop drop a bunch of top dogs. Yeah. Because you probably made fifteen dollars off of me just bumping top dogs. Hey, that's respect. So, um, I <laughs> feel like is. that's the strategy. I'm just I'm trying to I'm trying to get our YouTube to pop off. But then once that's kind of in a good place, we're just gonna try and drop songs back to back. We made uh, we made six dollars. Okay. On Distro Kid. Hey, word. Hey, fucking about to go to the club hey, that's tonight. Lit. That's make fucking a, make lit. that shit fucking rain. Nah, it's a that's good lit. feeling. It's it's a different feeling when you know it's from what you love to do. It's when it's from your craft. So I feel that for sure. It don't even gotta be a big check. I remember my first little check. It was it was lit. You know, I felt well, yeah, like I made it. I'm like, you're shit. like, all right, I could if I just double it. Every yeah, you know, months. triple it, you know. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, no, for sure. Hey, it's not a lot. We out here scraping pennies. You heard? It Bro. costs more to do it. Than we're making right now, but we've, you know what? We've it's spent a climb. we've spent way more money oh, doing for sure. it for sure. You know, there's that little meme like, yo, if you're gonna be an independent artist, you gonna you gonna fucking stress a lot. You are gonna be broke a long time. Hey, man, right. it is what it is. If you know, you know. And hopefully, you never get to a point where you just have to convince yourself. I'm just doing it because it's fun. Yeah. It's not because I was secretly hoping to make a career out of nah, it. It's nah. just because I love it. hundred no, percent. hundred percent. Yeah, it sucks. It sucks, but it's discipline at times. Actually, know? it's discipline most of the time. Like every time I have to sit down and make a beat or write or do this, I'm always like, I don't want to do this. Facts. But I don't want to do anything other than just lay down. Yeah. Like my yeah, favorite I, thing all is- I want to do a hundred percent of the time is lay down and look at my phone. Like I'm really, pa- I'm <laughs> super passionate about laying down. <laughs> yeah, no, I feel that rest is important. Shit, I don't get a lot of it. Like on my Tinder, like my bio would say, uh, uh, my passions laying down. Be- yeah, <laughs> being horizontal. Uh, Yo, that's ha- having fucking having wild. food brought to me while I lay. <laughs> that, I not- feel that part. Hey, that part. That's For hedonism. Sure. For sure. <laughs> That's funny. Having someone fan you with a giant leaf. <laughs> That'd be nice. Feed you grapes. Yep, yep, yep. That's mm-hmm. the that's the works. All the feed right you there. can drink. So uh, you only came out here for a couple of days. Like, what was the what was the itinerary? So me and my boy KG, we're shooting a video. Uh, yes sir, yes sir. Go to <laughs> okay. Shooting videos, making movies. Like we in the city, ho. Whoa. Yeah. You say you got it. Where that shit at? You know, I'm really finna up that uh, dog pack. Yeah, me and KG Fucking making hits Woo. every time like I'm KD uh, uh, Playing in the NB uh, NBA playoffs blah. Yeah, every single day You know I never stay soft uh, uh, Whoa, uh, uh, My bro shade in town to shoot a video I would've shot one too But bro, I gotta know Woo. At least a week in advance <laughs> If you're gonna be landing In my motherfucking plans Gotta be uh, aligned <laughs> It's gotta be a line, you know I'm gonna get it in if it's on time, uh, uh-huh. I'm perfect timing, they say I do it best, uh, uh, in the city with the best uh, yeah, I need a heads up, if I don't get head, it feels tough, <laughs> I wish I uh, could do it more than enough, <laughs> yeah. yeah, I'm growing scruff on my face and balls, hey, yeah, all right, in the on. stalls, hey, I'm, I'm Jesus. Just, what's huh. that, hit number four? Not, not okay. <laughs> but, but. Nah, for real though, my boy KG, he snaps, he just dropped a song called Brad Winners, uh, and we shooting a video called uh, Batman right now, you know. I'm okay, okay. You're gonna put on a Batman suit, bro. He might put on a Batman suit if you can help us find sick. one. Yeah, get a Batman suit, <laughs> cause like Jaden Smith's style. Get, yeah. get the one that's white, the white Batman suit. <laughs> yeah, he's trying to get like a Batman type look. I'm gonna try to do like a Joker. You know what I mean? We're Remember, um, do some scenes when Travis Scott was Batman for Halloween. <sighs> Uh-oh. You guys pull up Travis Scott Batman Halloween, David, and show shade because it is quite funny. Is it? 
Yeah. <laughs> it was like a Gucci Batman suit or something. <laughs> Oh, Travis man. got Batman. That's a probably all you Batman need. Batman suit. That kind of sounds dope. Boom. Oh. Next to the G wagon. That's really him. <laughs> yeah. Look at, that's so goofy. Bro, he's <laughs> slaying pussy that night. <laughs> like, let's be honest. He could have picked a different. His pose looks so awkward though. This is the oh, photo man. he decided to post to Instagram. Like, he could have maybe gone for like maybe a uh, jail jail pose or something that doesn't look so he looks like he's eight yeah, posing yeah. In his you Batman see i just want to be that rich though you know where i can just get a halloween costume and you know customize my cars around it right like, i want like, i want my me, fit to match yeah, the way but yeah. I mean, you notice that he doesn't fill it out like no, the, sure. the mask the batman mask the shoulder parts of the batman mask don't touch his actual shoulders because he doesn't have broad enough shoulders that, that's really that's really travis scott yeah it looks like fucking christian bale or something like, the, hey, 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 what's up with the scruff it's so it's so realistic no yeah his chin he, he looks like he Wait, has uh, a really strong jaw now that you've brought up the scruff it kind of looks like he just took some sharpie to his <laughs> face and added added like a little hulk hogan thing oh, on there man, it that, doesn't yeah that's crazy i mean shit but I mean, that's what you guys can you guys think of a Halloween costume you guys ever uh, picked out that totally ate mm. back in your day? I killed a mm. I killed a Cheech and Chong. OK, because I, oh, okay. I had a long beard at okay. the time. Uh, okay. I Honestly, the best Halloween costume I ever did was when we were the demons that one time. Oh, when yeah. We, we were office demons. You got so drunk that I, yeah, I, that was the most drunk I've ever been in my life. I think you drank something day. weird. No, I drank something very weird. Yeah, it was some <laughs> chi- some weird Chicago whiskey or whatever oh, that man. was. That was, yeah, they called it. it was, you were in Chicago? No, 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 no. It was someone brought it, was it in, from it was Chicago. In GR. Okay, it wasn't whiskey. It was uh, something worse. <laughs> oh man, like like what's what's? I, it was like you know how like absinthe is viewed in right. a weird way. It was yeah. something like absinthe. I think it was okay. ab- in the same genre of absinthe, and it and it got me kind of messed up. And, I don't and know what that is. I, I swear, I was hung over for like thirty six hours. What the? Fuck? It was something fucked up. You like got that. drugged. Yeah, it might have been. Roofied. I might have been roofied. Yeah, yeah that's what it oh felt like. Oh my god, uh, that's the one thing I liked about living in Michigan is that we would sporadically go to like random parties that uh, people mm-hmm. invited us to and just got stupid drunk and acted a fool. Mm-hmm. And I don't do that anymore. For some reason, yeah. I don't picture you being too into Halloween costumes, but maybe as a lad. I was trying to think, dude, like, I don't, I can't, I don't, I can't think of one. <laughs> what, you, what, you look like you want to say something. <laughs> Oh yeah, that was probably the hardest one, you know. Some stolen valor, fully camoed yeah, up. Yeah, yeah, we found. Some. I like that. That's like a, a, the only time you can do the stolen valor thing. The only time <laughs> it's okay for a non-military person to wear it is when it's Halloween, and and you probably got to be a child as well. Yeah, I don't. I can't really recall too many um, good Halloween costumes. <laughs> for sure, some bad ones. You know? Uh yeah. Okay. Well, how do we got a bad Halloween story for us? I think one. Time, I know this isn't the Halloween episode, but we we landed I, here somehow. I talked about Travis Scott. For sure. One time, I think I was trying to do like a like a fucked up skater type look. Like I got banged up, and I I was just I was out of options. And I think I just took some ace bandage and wrapped it around my head and put some ketchup. Man, I got blood, you know what I'm saying? Hey, I, hey, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I got ketchup on my head, and yeah, I'm about to skate, fucking try flip, Ollie on a bitch. Yeah, I'm playing skate on PlayStation 6. Yo, I can't even hate on that costume shade. Whoa. I bet it was great, yo. I bet that it made everybody's day. At least you put some time and effort right. in. You got bandages exactly. and you put ketchup <laughs> on your chin. Said I'm really on some pimp shit. Yeah. What? I said I'm really on some pimp shit. Yep. What? I said. <laughs> Hit a kip flip, don't be a simp, bitch. I'm on some pimp shit. Yeah, uh, I'm at the skate park after dark. Well, uh, ate a tree, ate some bark. Well, yeah, you know I'm about to fucking let out a fart after I fucking hit the ollie. Then I go and get some sloppy. Yeah. I nose manual my way into Halloween dressed like a queen. <laughs> hey. You know what I mean? You hey. can really do that though. You can know. No. You can nose man. <laughs> no, I wish. Uh, I can manual. Okay. Uh, uh, like for like ten feet, maybe. Okay. Okay. <laughs> if I'm going really fast. Okay. <laughs> that ten feet's got to go by fast. Nah, I feel it. I feel it. I feel it. I, I can sp- like I can like stay on the board and go forward. <laughs> no, he can't even do that. He's capping. <laughs> right no, no, I could do bro. that. I could do that. What the the slightest little bump in the ground? It's mincemeat for yeah, this dude. guy. Yeah, I, that's what I. 
that's what I used to do, you know, when I was younger. I, I skated a lot. I'm into that shit. I, 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 I feel that. I feel that. Our, 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 our mutual uh, Juwan, a.k.a. Mm -hmm. Dr. Prava, he's a big skate head. I remember we were, we were he good too. very deep into an acid trip with that guy. And he's just <laughs> doing crazy like triple flip bull spin yeah. tricks and whatnot yeah. and we're like god damn this he dude, wasn't this he dude. wasn't hitting all of them nah, no nah. but he would hit them every now and then and i'd be like the fact that he's even attempting them right i would never pick up because like i can i can balance on a skateboard but if i'm tripping Lord. sack i'm not yeah. gonna I, you know i don't have good enough health insurance for nah, that, that shit. Shit, the, the tripping sack doesn't apply to his he didn't have health least. insurance either bro <laughs> dude, <laughs> you're right dude, dude, the last time i skated with him he fucking I'm in the car because I'm tired. I'm like, I'm gone. I'm going home. Yeah. And he's like, all right, I'll be there in a second. He comes back and his finger is fucking 90 degree oh, angle. Oh, I think I seen uh, that. Yeah, yeah I I'm saw like, that. He's like, bro, you got to drive me to the hospital. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, fuck, dude. All right. That guy probably owes the American medical system a million dollars. Shit, dude. Bro, they treat you like shit at the hospital if you pull up without insurance. Oh, like yeah. He was begging me to get him out of there. He's like, dude, it's fucking 50 degrees in here. I think they're just doing it to get people out. Right. It's 50 degrees and they're going to send you a bill for 50 grand. He probably yeah. wasn't wearing a shirt either. <laughs> oh, yeah. He, was, he definitely wasn't. His shirt was around his hand because it was bleeding. Yeah, that he makes was sense. Hitting on the nurses. Mm -hmm. Oh, man. Yeah, we got to get that dude back out of here. Yeah, we, I mean, he, he, he hooked us up for this situation. So I appreciate yeah, yeah. I appreciate him yeah, reaching out. Is Dr. he. Juan. Is yeah, he. Yeah. Um, is he uh, officially your manager, or he's he just helping you out? He's so funny. He he calls me. He says, "Hey, bro, I'm your manager. All right, <laughs> this is yeah. happening." I knew that it was yeah. some bullshit, bro. Hey, hey, look, oh, come on, he, not, not, nah, he, let's not know, be too hey, presumptuous. Hey, Dave. hey, I'm gonna let him. I'm gonna let him do his. Let him reign. You know what I'm saying? Hey, he he killed it. He set this up, so I appreciate. Right, he that. did some management, bro. If he's trying to prove yeah. himself as a manager, he did it. Technically, it worked. Yeah. He got gears turning. He got you know balls what? moving. Here's what I like about somebody having a manager. If something goes wrong, I don't got to confront the person. I just talk to the manager. Right. Yeah. And if, yeah, you, yeah. if you had a bad time today, you yeah, could yeah. be like, yo, Juan, what, never hook me up with those fools. Yeah, and then Juan again. would call us and be like, oh, he said he had a good time. <laughs> <laughs> He can he can water it down, and that way we communicate through him. He's a good he's a good middleman. The mediation. No, for sure. I ain't going to lie up. Uh, my man's right here. He's been managing me for a while, Ghost, and uh, he's actually the one that's tapped me in with fucking everything. Like I, I sent him to talk to everybody. Are you out in Florida with him? For sure, yeah. Oh, hell yeah. yeah. He tapped me in with people out in Florida, so it's definitely a blessing because it's the other way around too. If I don't want to say something, I just tell him like, "Yo, you gotta let you gotta let him know." Well, no, it's good, and that way you can focus on the creative stuff. Hundred percent. Oh, we need we need a manager, bro. <laughs> hey Juan, he's that he's that nigga, That's bro. That's a good point, bro. He's that nigga, like, hey, I ain't gonna oh, lie. Oh yeah, our he, manager he, he lives a great in great manager too. Like, he's got it. He's got it. Our manager uh, lives in Grand Rapids. Yeah. He, could and, he could probably do it. Sells AirPods. He, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he could probably he could probably do everything on the phone though. You know what I'm saying? He could just get Oh, 100%, people. bro. He yeah, he ain't got to go nowhere. Pick up the phone. Yeah, I mean that's how we get people on this podcast. I just straight up cold DM people that I don't know. Yeah, like, yeah. You, you want to come to my house? We've we've <laughs> had kind of a guest renaissance lately. Uh, usually it's it's like a guest, then a couple episodes with just us. But it's been all guests, and I don't. It's not slowing down anytime soon. We're getting. What? I Good got a strategy, guess. bro. Uh, and and like low key, like we've already had our pod for the week, so we're gonna have to put this one like on the back yeah, burner I let for him, a little I let bit. Him know mid, mid we, May or something like that. Yeah, something hey. like that. So don't talk about anything relevant. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'll, I'll talk. I'll talk for me. You yeah. could be like, "Yo, I just I dropped. I released a track on no, April 100%. 30th. Hundred <laughs> percent. Yeah. By the time you see this, I'll have a new video out <laughs> yeah. called Sunday Service, shot by my boy Newt. Yep. Yeah. Word. I've, you haven't been on any other podcast, right? This is your podcast, Cherry Poppin'. I've been on. I've been on uh, a few before. Yeah. Yeah. We actually, couldn't. We couldn't get his. <laughs> nah, nah. It's good. Actually, the first. Um, First live one, I did a live radio show. Yeah, I'm on the radio live. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This shit's about to get live. Yeah. <laughs> Me and some guys, we doing radio live. Yeah, uh. you know I survive when I'm fucking giving out the high fives. Yo, I got high fives on the radio live. Yeah. Yeah, you know I survive doing radio live. Oh. Yeah, you know it's not drive, it is all turkey. Yeah, you know me, I put the work in. Yeah, I'm on radio right now, bro. I'm on a podcast and I got your hoe in the back of my uh, Chevy Silverado yeah. and it's getting so, heavy. I got all them people jumping. I got it. Radio bumping. Whoa. I'm on the radio bumping. <laughs> And now they won't fuck with me. Whoa. They won't come fuck with a G. They wanna come fuck with my team. 
Yeah, hey, I'm on the radio bar. Uh. I might be insanely broke, but I stand up on the radio. Uh, hey. I ain't no lazy hoe. Uh, no, no. Playing Super Mario. <laughs> yo, you got the vocals down, <laughs> hey. And yo, I am, I am fucking adding the reverb You're over super, here. Hey, this is a talent. Like, I'm really fucking with do. this. I'm fucking with this. Yeah, we need. Uh, if 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 uh, if a more famous artist starts their own freestyle rap podcast. Yeah, but make me their producer. Come on, oh, bro. Yeah, you gonna <laughs> jump ship like that? I bro? will. I will abandon ship. It's gonna no, be, y'all I'll, gotta be the first to do it like this, though, right? Yeah, we, we are. are but we are yeah, but it's only it's you know it's one of those things. It's only a matter of time before because yeah. it's 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 just it. Well, y'all it would doing be so it. easy for first. some already famous rapper to just do what we're right. doing. No, but I think it's uh, people perceive it as being too goofy. Nah, like most people. No, no, no. People who take their rap seriously yeah who don't have that side of them where it's like oh who gives a shit we've had multiple guests who don't do the freestyle because they they consider the craft too exactly you know, bro sacred or whatever yeah. that's what i'm saying so i feel like the reason nobody's gonna steal the idea is because they believe in themselves too much we yeah. don't respect <laughs> we don't respect <laughs> rapping enough <laughs> nah but i fuck with it as long as you like i don't know you talk about some key points and y'all have good conversations so it's like what you got going on is original right thank you man we Thanks. appreciate For that sure. what uh what are you bumping right now is there any do you listen what to music or, or just your own music nah i be listening to some shit i ain't gonna lie um shit I'm trying is to it something you're embarrassed to tell no, us is not, that what it never, is bro, never bro never avril lavigne nah, mid-2000s i, got, I got a huge fucking colored palette of music but nah right now i've been fucking with a lot of michigan shit like a lot of baby smooth mm. a lot of rio i don't know I guess being out in Florida kind of makes the, me want to. Who's back popping somewhere. off in Florida? Who's like the main Florida sound? Uh, who, who would you say, bro? Who popping? Yeah, <laughs> KG's busy, bro. I don't know, really, really on an iPhone really, six, uh, really fucking Kodak, yeah. Co- oh, Kodak's I mean. the main Florida. That dude's already yeah. a legend, I think. Like, yeah, he's he a fucking he a, legend a young sure. living legend. Uh, yeah. yeah, Kodak Black can do no wrong. He should be on this podcast. Pardoned bro. by Trump. Mm. How many? How many? That's him, pretty crazy. Him and Wayne, like they're the only rappers who could say that shit. <laughs> yeah, hey, Wayne, Wayne's hard, but hey, Kodak is definitely fucking unique. You know, the original. Yeah, he I love Kodak. Fuck. He would be a good motherfucker that I would want to see on y'all podcast. That would be so goddamn cool, and that he would, would probably vibe with it. Honestly, Kodak, you're listening to this right now. Please come 100%. on the pod. We'd have a good time. Yeah. Um, uh, I might look scared, but <laughs> right. trust me, I'll get over it, Kodak. You know, it's just a matter of it's really just more nerves that a famous person is in my midst. It's not, be- like, it's yeah, not yeah. because you look like a scary gremlin. <laughs> I feel like Kodak would also bring this many people to the podcast. Maybe more. (laughs) More. Probably probably more. We'd have people standing by the door. Yeah. Yeah. (laughs) Uh, Hopefully, he would bring more bitches. Oh, yeah. Definitely, (laughs) definitely, definitely. You know. You could have brought one fucking lady, bro. (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> yeah, nah, nah, that's just that they just gets in the way these these fools are out here doing work but yeah. they're focused no, yeah, no cap, they're, they're but we focused. Woke, but we woke up and we literally got out the house in 10 minutes we're like yo let's go you know what I'm saying? we got back at like 5 a.m we be out half the people in here still wear their pajamas oh for sure for sure we ain't we ain't now my boy got change. pants on there you go <laughs> <laughs> yeah we definitely uh were you in the studio focused. until five um you know you can say that <laughs> Yeah, yeah, you can say that. He, was, he might was, have he might have caught some shut eye in the studio. Yeah, yeah. we was we was cooking for sure. We was cooking some shit. We was shooting videos. Who's making the beats out of out of everybody here? So you know, I be I'm probably the only one that makes beats. Are but, you buying beats? Um, but I, I I got I got okay. I got producers on lock. Mm. When I need a beat, they send it to the spot. Like, what's the drop? Say, what's the word? If I hit them on the go, they gonna get If me I need hurt. a beat, yeah. I got motherfuckers and they got the deets. But and I'm, I put the motherfucking numbers in my fucking sheet. Uh, and then I get a text message, SMS. They get the beats to my email, too sweet. I'm getting texts from producers east to west. I only pick the best. And then I put on my motherfucking vest and pull up to the studio with yeah. three big booty hoes and smoking fucking dro. Whoa, ain't nobody popping off except for me. My cock is soft until I take the Zoloft and then I'm hard as fuck. Okay. With your mom, she suck on my butt and I tell her, you know, it's not enough. <laughs> That's not okay, Dave. You shouldn't have said that. You're acting like a knave. 
Hey, you funny, man. You misbehave. Uh, I mean, what are you going to do, Wait, bro? did you say Zoloft? Yeah, the Zoloft actually would have made me soft. I said Zoloft made me hard. What which is, is Zoloft? It's a SSRI. It's, it's like an anti-depression, anti-depression medication. something like that. Oh, that would definitely I, make you soft. Yeah, yeah. Could, but but you know you combine that with with some Cialis. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck is even that? Even just thinking about Zoloft gets my dick soft. I don't give a fuck. <laughs> it's funny because I'm most of the time I'm soft. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Chill, dude. Okay, yeah. you don't Chill. like that? Yes. No, no. Dude, we don't want to know about your erectile dysfunction. <laughs> It'd be weirder if I was hard. No, it wouldn't. Well, okay, this is this is a hip hop podcast. We have to we have to give the illusion that we're hard a hundred percent of the a, time, regardless of the context. I'm a hard ass go. motherfucker. There you go. So what is does Palm Beach mean anything to you? Palm Beach. Yeah. Is that is that like a shit? I didn't area? mean to bring this cup out, uh, but it is kind of a coincidence <laughs> that I have the Florida cup. Palm Beach. Where is that? I don't, okay, I don't it means oh, nothing. Okay. <laughs> Hell yeah. Oh. Okay, I mean what it's a, in Florida apparently, yes. according to this cup. Yeah. I don't there must know. be some palms. I think that might be on the other side of where I'm at. Okay, like, okay. Yeah, it's on the other coast. You know what's crazy about Florida is there's also, like, Florida has its own Alabama inside yeah. of Florida. Right, exactly. Which is there's just a backwoods, swampy, oh, na- yeah. like non, no beaches, no palm oh, yeah. trees, just w- weirdos and, and, oh, and probably sure. some Cajun folks. How come you didn't go to Miami? I feel like Miami's the spot, No. Bro, Miami is just like I don't know. It's it, it's so much smaller. It's like L.A. fucking packed, but it's smaller and it's it's fucking. And he's not know. Will Smith, right? Yeah, Come on, yeah, you know I don't, I don't I don't really be at the beaches like that. You know what I'm saying? And the st- I don't know. I just haven't locked in with no good studios out there either. How so. far are you from there? Um, like three hours. Oh, so it's not it's not right there. Three four, yeah. Fuck, I moved to Florida. We almost moved to Florida. When we were like, when we were trying to leave Michigan, we were like, we were looking at housing price because we wanted to buy a house. Yeah, and that was like the property taxes are are decent over there or something, right? That was it. I don't know. I feel like we could have done this in Florida, probably. It's too hot. At the end of the day, that heat is. I mean, it's hot. It's hot, but like. You get used to it, just like you get used to. I guess you get used to right. being here. But here, I get hot when the rents do. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, it's facts. Fucking bro, super that hot. should make you sweat. Like, it's sweat oh, like balls. That's true. Oh fuck, man! I'm telling you, bro. It's a lot. It's it's nicer being over there just cause for that like economic. You thing. don't have to hustle as hard. I feel like you were yeah. hustling super hard. When you know you were what's here. crazy, bro? I actually hustle harder. Like I'm, I'm hustling way harder than I ever had. Well, because you get to pocket more money. Yeah, facts, facts. So it's facts. like worth it to I, hustle. Yeah, facts. Here it's facts. like I'm working super hard and I'm Just barely pay, still making pay it. bills. Yeah. yeah, and you know, like my songs. Every time I record a song, that's fucking. Five hundred dollars just to you know get the audio type shit down. Right. Yeah, so. yeah, that's 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 a, that's tough to think about. You got to record at the crib, dude. I feel like at, at this well, point, yeah, I have now. And now that I've been fucking with Pro Tools a lot more, I'm starting to get a lot more um, saucy with it. So I, I do think that that is a major life hack for recording artists. Oh, for if sure. you can get it done on your own, yeah, you cut just... you're cutting your fucking investments in half. Like when you're more likely to just do it all the time. That, yeah. that dude Tyler the Creator got a Grammy off. Of stuff it's that crazy, he just recorded bro. in his he's, bedroom. He's crazy. You know, he's really that's, a genius, uh, bro. So that's like it's totally possible. You just as long as you have the knowledge. Five hundred seems like a gatekeeping price. Like that's a number that would prevent talented artists from ever reaching their potential. Nah, you know facts. what I mean? So you kind of got to do it on your own. Nah, facts. But it means that only people who are the people who are in there are either financially in a good place or they're very serious. But there's also yeah. a vibe. To going to a studio to do the thing, it feels more professional. Right, yeah. I'm not gonna like, cancel on you. It, yeah, like, you know, if, if we're hanging out here and I'm you, like, oh, let's record tonight. You feel like you're there to work. There, there is that kind of mindset when you are paying for a studio space. That's a good point. Um, so yeah, there, there's times, pros and cons. A lot of times you pay for it, and you know, like the engineer be fucking whack. Especially, Fuck, dude, that's what bro, I out here is fucking. It's like a poison, like bro. Think about it. If they don't fuck with you, yeah. Now they have to edit your shit. Yeah, it's gonna be bad. Like you need somebody who fucks with you at yeah. least a little bit, yep. or at least they're your friend or something. Yeah. Keep everything in house. That's like the biggest. You have a street team. That's the fucking most crucial. We're literally thing. keeping everything in house. Yeah, right? I, I fuck with that. <laughs> it's never I been more literal that. than this. in apartment. <laughs> yeah, no shit. <laughs> I fuck with it. Are you gonna stay out there? Is that like you think this is your last stop? No, I'll definitely move back to Cali uh, eventually. But when I when I move back to Cali, I'm probably gonna move more north. You know, damn, like, like how north? Um, you know, maybe even as far as like the Bay. But 
Damn. You know, bro. maybe just like an hour outside of LA. I don't want to live okay, there in you go. LA. Oh, you live in the valley or something yeah, like that? Yeah, type shit, type shit. I feel like we're outside. We're not, we're technically still in LA County, but this is kind of outside. Yeah, you're kind of outside of it. Like, Long Beach is really its own city. Yeah, bro. I fucking love it. Yo, motherfucking Long Beach, this is my life. I die here with my kids and my wife. You try to talk shit about Long Beach, pull out the knife. Yo, I ain't trying to start no strife, my nice. No, don't talk shit about Long Beach. Nope. I'm, I'm on I'm on Cheech right now. Damn. I'm high as Sheet. I, that's right, Sheet is my new word. Yeah, you know me, Long Beach, the city's absurd. Uh, I got a slick freak, she from Long Beach. Ooh. When I fuck it up, I'm on them butt cheeks. Damn. Yeah, yeah, she only hits the fuck. Okay. Said. I hardly hit her up. Uh, uh, I'm dating a hottie from the Long Beach area. Yeah, you know, she got malaria. Damn. Uh, but thank God she got insurance. And now I'm bringing her a lot of reassurance. Yo, this little Chiquito got bit by a mosquito. <laughs> and now my, my honey, she's uh, about to be uh, gone, yo. And I don't know, a zero a race for my life. She died of malaria. Hey, R.I.P. What the fuck is malaria? It's that it, it terrible sickness that that spreads primarily in Africa through mosquito bites. That's why they have like a lot of oh fuck nets. That's that shit that like makes you paralyzed. Maybe I know. I think it gives you like you get you get like uh, cold sweats and like your eyes high bleed. fever. Yeah, I think you die in like you three die? days. Yeah, yeah, you die. Oh fuck! I think one it of it is treatable though. Oh fuck! Man. That's <laughs> like that's like you can give that by fucking type shit. No, no, no. Mosquitoes. No. Don't, if you fuck mosquitoes, yeah. maybe. But like it's oh, only okay. oh, it's, it's from sure, mosquito sure. bites. But it's actually <laughs> I've heard the statistic that the most effective way of investing money and return on investment when it comes to saving lives is contributing to buying mosquito nets the like the just the nets yeah, yeah. like if you if, if you want to give money to save lives yeah the best investment of your money is you guys, towards mosquito you nets. guys remember when dengue fever was like a big scare in the uh, united yeah, i guess no. you you probably weren't in the no, states no, no, I but I, I, there was, was that it uh, I mean, I, I'm pretty sure it was everywhere, but maybe it was more like there are a lot of mosquitoes in Hawaii where I grew up and maybe it was a bigger deal out there. But I could have sworn that everyone was like talking about this disease, That's dengue right, fever. What is that spread like? Spread by Hawaii. I mean, it's uh, when you grow up anywhere you grow up, you don't really know the difference. I really have noticed more of the differences just going back there after the fact as an adult and whatnot. After yeah. experience having some more life experience. Like but, there's I mean, a it, lot it's, of it's very shit to chill. do like. Like here, like um, here? as far as activities to do, it's you kind of have there, you kind of have to make your own fun uh, for the most part. Although it is expanding a lot, it's becoming way more westernized. You know, we're getting hookah lounges out there now, and oh, wow. and and, uh, and <laughs> it's funny that hookah axe throwing places where right. you, can, oh, you know okay. dumb white bullshit like that. Okay, but okay. Uh, yeah, it's slowly but surely. But um, I'm uh, let me let me hit him with the Chris, and then maybe we can replenish some of uh, our our guests' water supplies if they need it, <laughs> and, right. I, and, and if Take anyone needs to pee or whatever. I'll be right back. <laughs> I'll be right back. And we're back, reminiscing about the old days. Yes, sir, um, yes, sir. You know what? So you're you're saying that you would probably move back to Cali, but you're. You think you'd want to have like a nice little stack set up before you come back out? Uh, stack. I don't want to say stack. Like more like uh, I'd rather have a good well. You know, good, good like um, operation going on. Oh, like, steady money. You know what that I'm saying? That makes way more sense, dude. You know, coming out here, you know, it's 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 lit. You know, you make your make your little money, but little big money in other places, little money here. Right. You know what I'm saying. So you gotta have you gotta have big motion here. Mm -hmm. Big motion. It's true. Uh, well, it, you know what? It would make sense. Like, we could have just fucking banged out when we lived in Michigan. Like, work super hard. Yeah. And then once you have some momentum, then you come out here and start to network. But I also felt like I needed a, a shift. I was also not mature. I, I feel like I needed a mindset shift. And the change of scenery kind of helps you a little bit. But I still dragged my feet oh, yeah. the first, like, two or three years we were here yeah. fucking around and not really getting shit done. Nah, nah. It's, it's weird how that works out. You, 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 once you really start to gain momentum on your passions, you inevitably can't help but think back and be like, why didn't I do this 10 years yeah, back, ago? You know, back where I started, I yeah. feel that. But, you know, Michigan, I mean, I love Michigan, but at the same time, that's like a very 
gloomy place, you know, that no, you don't. Sure. You know, nobody's going like, hey, I'm going to fucking. Not just a weather sense. No, no, and all around. So it's like, it's hard to pull the motivation out. Right, but like if you have a fucking banging ass mindset, like as a fucking person, your brain is super determined to focus. Yeah, if you focused all the time. Yeah, like if you're just focused, then it doesn't matter where you are. You just, especially with the internet, you could just make content, make fucking music. And if if you're sick, then you're sick. I don't know if people talk about this a lot, but another thing in in Michigan is that it's it's very, it's like a drinking culture out there. Yeah. A lot of, it's. I mean, it's the beer capital of the world, I think. Psychedelics too. But but like uh, psychedelics... I, I can get with psychedelics, yeah. but like w- w- promoting alcoholism yeah. as a hobby, like being into IPAs and stuff. Oh, no. Sure. And one- Fuck, no. I, I don't understand. I feel like it. that's part of why that's part of why we didn't move to Florida is because we thought that then the lifestyle there would be too much partying Like because we were probably yeah. going to go to Miami or like outside of Miami. And I thought, all right, well, I'm just going to go somewhere with nicer weather yeah. and then just keep partying. It doesn't seem like I'm going to. Hey. Yeah, all I do is fucking go to raves. Uh, yeah, uh, I don't behave. No. I'm drinking every single motherfucking day. Every day. And then later in the evening, I might snort the yay. I'm drinking every day drinking. and I'm snorting on the yay. And this shit is not okay. Shout out Kanye. Uh, I wish that I could uh, get in that guy's brain and understand the words he's saying. Uh, yeah. They wanna smoke on me. Ooh. Why they wanna come smoke on my weed? They wanna party with a G, wanna party with Shay. Okay. Uh, they can't even rap, they can't get up on my page. No. Uh, they say puff, puff, pass. Motherfucker, get a lot of my off my ass. Okay. Yeah, this is puff, 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 and keep puffing. Mm-hmm. I'm motherfucking puff diddy the way I scruffin'. I never pass, no, I keep puffing on they ass. I keep that weed, I bogart it, you see You know me, I never pass the cheem Never, never Not once I can't even shout out the beats Because I don't know exactly which ones we did Like you moved shit around, right? You're right, I did move shit around Oh shit um, I mean, I, this I, is an unorthodox Where episode, are these beats folks. from? Like These are from YouTube, my okay, guy Well, okay. no, there's two of them that I made That if you guys like those You can look up Hooded Ninja Studios on YouTube and yes, the beat sir. and those beats are there. In in our in our dream world, we are kind of more organically uh, cultivating our beats from people that we know. So feel free to send us if you want to oh, hear your sure. beats yeah, yeah, on yeah. the show being freestyled over. Send us beats. Send us some beats, and we'll absolutely include them in the in the lineup. Uh, sometimes we we might even take them non consensually. We might just uh, see <laughs> if you've uploaded a beat. We'll be like, all right, let's rip this thing Ripping and it do up. it on the show. We only use shit that's labeled as free. Yeah. Right, and and David says that with the full knowledge that he knows that it's a free download, yeah. quote right. unquote. No, no, it's not. It's, it's free <laughs> for nonprofit. It use. said free. Yeah, it's free. It's free for <laughs> yep. nonprofit use, and we are not actively profiting at this. Y'all point. fuck with um Renz. Y'all know. Yeah, Renz? it sounds familiar. Um, I'm not he's, sure. Yeah, sure, he's done a couple of beats. For Dilu, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. I've shot, I've shot some videos for some Ren beats. Yeah, he's hard. You should tap in with him. You know, fuck with some guys in the city. What's the uh, Ren? That's the thing about Michigan, bro. Hey, the the fucking producers is hot, bro. You know, like there's there's some fucking hot producers from Michigan. I uh, yeah, uh, but what's his name? Uh, he he's Canoodles with Drake is from Michigan. Um, Canoodles. Yeah. Uh, he's yeah, there was like a Michigan rap crew called AGO, and this is the guy that was like the most famous from them. Oh, and, uh, he makes beats. Uh, Sango. Sango. Yeah, yeah, okay. yeah. That's the dude. Okay. okay. He's like. The, Thank you, David. He's God like, damn. He's the. I think he's the only one actually like um, living off of music uh, from that group. That's what's up. But some of them are not are, to disparage. The sorry, group. No, I didn't, didn't, <laughs> nah. didn't mean. I wasn't trying to say. I'm saying he's a the, weird point to bring up for no reason. <laughs> no, it's like how it's nah, like it ain't for no reason. It's like how uh, out of D12, Eminem's really the one running the oh, show. Oh, hundred percent. That fool's the same thing over there. He's 100%, the Eminem. Hundred percent. Was uh. Okay, no, never mind. For a second, I was I was literally just about to ask, was Joe Budden in D12? And I was like, no, that was Slaughterhouse. Slaughterhouse. That was a different thing. Oh. That was a less successful thing. <laughs> do, you, uh, do you listen to podcasts? Yeah, you know, I listen to a couple podcasts. Really, um, I don't know. I, I be fucking with, like, Joe Rogan and shit. Like, yeah, yeah, like some I, awesome informative shit. Yeah. You really can't go wrong with that. There's, yeah. a there's like, a, a, a divide between, like, listening to shit that's, like, good for your brain and, like, yeah. making you better and then listening to just shit to laugh to. Oh, 
A hundred percent. And sometimes I feel bad because we don't necessarily make people think. Yeah. But we we try to. No, I, I, mean, I think that that is when we know what we're here to do. Exactly. A- and I hate when I see comedians try and be more than that. And I'm not saying we're comedians or nah, but like y'all but, funny. But like, y'all sure, funny. Sure. I, like the other day I saw that, uh, what's his name? Tom Segura on his podcast. He had some theoretical physicist or some shit. And I'm like, what are we doing here? No, Tom? it's Just because make some fart jokes yeah. and let's move on with our life. <laughs> right. We don't need to. You're not the vehicle for me to expand my brain. Right. You're the vehicle for me to get some chuckles, my man. 100%. Right. It's y'all Rogan's deliver. fault. Y'all, y'all deliver. Thanks, dude. You know what I'm saying? Y'all are funny. Well, see, Rogan, technically, he's a comedian, but I feel like a v- vast majority of people don't know that he's got his start in stand-up or whatever. They know him from Fear Factor. Oh. Yeah. So they're like, this guy's just a host. So if, so it makes sense that he's all, also doing... Nah, he's funny. And he, he's a good interview. He's funny as shit. You've never seen the uh, one where he went on Impulse. I like his was, stand-up. I his, know. It wasn't... It, who is that comedian that got his podcast? What's his name? Uh, that no. uh, Brendan Schaub. <laughs> uh, the white, the white dude with the um, he wears the Dockers up, you know. Dockers? Why? Okay, uh, I'm trying to think of white comedians that are Joe Rogan adjacent. Yeah, what's his name? Ari Shafir. Andrew Schultz. Andrew oh, yeah. Schultz. Yeah, when okay. Joe Rogan went on his shit, that shit was bro. He's yeah, yeah, fucking hilarious. He's like on YouTube, fucking killing it. Yeah, for sure. That dude, that dude hacked the hacked the system. That, well, he's the pod daddy. That's yeah. who we all worship. As if we're, if you're a podcaster, you look at Joe Rogan and and you're like, might we suckle from thine teat? Well, no, he's talking about Schultz. <laughs> oh, nah, Schultz, Joe I could take her leave. Though. I don't give a fuck about Schultz. Nah. Schultz. I thought Schultz used to be really funny. Yeah. like his stand up, I thought was. Well, now he's great. just a, now he's just a YouTuber. Now he just fucking yeah, makes a shit ton of money on YouTube, and he's hanging out with his he's, friends he's, he's sold that out shit bleeds completely. over you know when you get to a certain level every it's just all yeah bleeds. like us like we're at a certain level now <laughs> a certain level yo i'm canoodling with the devil i sold my soul so that i could get uh into uh mariah carey's hole uh but it turns out she's like kind of old yo uh sold my soul me and mariah carey we're gonna go and bowl for a couple hours hire out some lanes uh, yeah, then after that, go catch a plane. Yeah, I'ma catch a plane out of here. Woo. Yeah, I just fucking landed in a minute. Uh, yeah, I ain't got words for the beat. I ain't got words for the beat. Yeah. I ain't got words for this heat. You know me, yeah, I, I got words for the street. Yo, sh- look at my girl Mariah Carey. Oh, look at her, man. She's fine as sheet. Am I right, folks? Yo, I say it all week. Me and Mariah in Miami. I'm with my mammy. And yeah, you know, uh, she ain't taking plan B. Uh, yeah, she just might have it. And then my life is gonna wreck havoc. Y'all got any tracks y'all release? We're working on a couple. Working yeah, on a couple some, things. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we recorded some freestyles? stuff last week. No. no. <laughs> we, 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 we're we definitely better at writing. <laughs> or at least no, I am. I David you. might need to stick to the no, freestyle. Yeah. I should just I should just talk. <laughs> <laughs> Sure. It's hard to write because um, half of the time I just want to rap about being cool. That's yeah. the like, easiest thing to yeah, rap yeah. about. I'm like, oh, just... yeah, I fucking get money and smoke weed. <laughs> and now when I'm high, I fucking look at butts. Yeah. And yeah, I'm getting money again that pulled, I throw at the butts. Pulled up with a million bucks. Yeah, yeah I'm so cold. And I'm like a freezer. Yeah. Uh. Stuff like that. That's that's the easiest type of rap to and write. We, I was telling him the other day we were in line waiting to get weed and I was like, bro, why don't we make a quick like uh, confidence booster? Mm. And just you, sometimes you got to make one of those tracks where you're like just rapping about being the best. It's rapping about rapping. Yeah. Well, those are the they're also the most fun. To right. Because once once you're like, I need to tell a story or I need to deliver some kind of uh, metaphorical concept to get into people. That's right. when it becomes a chore to write because yeah. you're like. I have to make these this yeah, land. Yeah, gets, the concept yeah, has to charity. land. Yeah, for sure. But those are the best songs, honestly, at the end of the day. They yeah. might not make it on the charts, but those are the ones you go back to 20 years later. You're like, oh, dude, that song was about exactly what we're talking about. There's a song about this obscure thing. Yeah. That, that, that you know. Yeah, I feel like I'm not too good at, like, um, topic writing like it's more emotion well i think hip-hop is also a lot about uh depicting a mindset and a lifestyle and like there's an energy to the music that yeah. it doesn't have to be about a no comp, yeah you know and, and you yeah. know and if if you know your lane as well like there's some people who it i think it would be weird for david and i to be rapping about 
being confident yeah. and and getting because we're not and, and, and yeah like we're not that type of like like we 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 don't like that's not the stuff that we value or whatever and and so it would be strange for us to do that it wouldn't be real it's more it's it more wouldn't be authentic the, it would be like all right we get it yeah yeah but then but i i wouldn't blame someone who like that is kind of the lifestyle that they have they're they're like they're out getting money they're fucking bitches fuck it that's what you're rapping about right. that makes sense Thanks. so you know it's uh it's one of those things and that's always the most respected is when it's like when it's when it's real when it's mm-hmm. authentic you right that's a good point i also i really enjoy just weed music like you could just be a weed rapper and i'd be like <laughs> i'll keep listening because that's kind of just yeah. I, as long as the song can play while i'm getting high it checks the box i'm like oh yeah yeah, yeah. like wiz khalifa i could just keep listening to wiz khalifa and it's always just about smoking and drinking and it's, it's a good time mac yeah, and devin vibe. mac and devin go to high school that's one of the best albums yeah. ever made yeah bro the it's movie fine. not good no the movie not sucks. a good movie <laughs> <laughs> but the album fucking phenomenal <laughs> i think i think they like went on tour again recently like snoop and wiz did, did like a yeah. reunion tour yeah that which is cool i wish i could have seen it man that album slaps so hard that album I, I didn't even smoke weed but that album made me want to smoke weed right because at, yeah. uh, at the time i was young and, and a christian and i was like that's yeah, the devil's the devil's lettuce i'm not getting into that <laughs> did you have to go to some shitty christian school because of michigan um, no, nah, I went to some crazy ass uh, Christian school in Chicago, though. Oh, okay. So you did go to a Christian some, school? Yeah. They, Damn. It was like whooping on the kids in no class. No way. Was it a was lot of white Catholic people? School? No, there was no white people. Oh, it's no white people. Wait, was it a Catholic school? It might have been. Catholic. Yeah, I was gonna say if there, if you are allowed to physically discipline, yeah, that's usually it sounds a Catholic. Catholic. Yeah, yeah. It's <laughs> fucking wild, bro. They'd smack uh, kids' hands with rulers and like bust Jeez. them. Principles. I thought that shit ended in the twenties. No, see, it was supposed to. So the day I like graduated or whatever from like fifth grade they actually cops came and shut it down damn yeah facts i told my pops i was like yo they beating kids in here he's like nah you cap you know what i'm saying and then the cops came shut them down yeah that was a good day for me yeah that's, that's weird. sick that you had a relationship with your dad yeah yeah for <laughs> sure <laughs> but also i would have if, if i was sending my kid to a catholic school in the 2000s I would, I would assume him yeah. getting he's getting beaten because that's like a Catholic stereotype for their I see, school. I wish I would have known that. Yeah, <laughs> I wish I was informed. Well, that. and that's the thing you only hit the kids because once you're in high school, that fool's gonna box. You know what I'm saying? Oh like, no, they turned up like these these little these little jits turned up. I feel like the more you hit kids, you make them more resilient. Oh, yeah. Like a kid that gets hit knows how to take it and can is more spicy. They was always fighting in classroom because they were angry. Yeah, I'm a scrap. I'm a really scrap. Yeah, I'm a really rap. Uh, look. Yeah, uh. The worst thing about hitting kids is the uh, inevitable fetish that you're instilling in them. When they grow up, they're not going to be able to come unless they're being beat by a a ruler or some. Know what I mean? Yo, no cap. This young cat mouths off a little too much. You're going to get slapped. Uh, yeah. And I ain't no rat. He might snitch, but that's because he's a little fucking bitch. A little fucking bitch, I'm about to hit this little fucking bitch with a switch that Damn. I just got off a tree. Yeah, it's my niche, it's my gimmick. Yo, I am Catholic. Uh, cop the 22, pointing at a kid who was born in 92. Uh, yeah, what the fuck you gonna do? Yeah, I'm gonna fucking take his shoes. The teachers are allowed to bring guns to school now, Ooh. so don't be acting the fool now. I'm about to shoot, wow. Oh yeah, that's gonna that's gonna blow us up yeah. right there. <laughs> <laughs> that's it, that's it. No, okay okay so so there were kids getting hit with the switches oh, and they sure. were turning the tables on the teachers because that would be i feel like that would be a like a robin hood moment for the other kids in the class <laughs> to see someone being hit on the hands with a ruler or something and them just like t- grab the ruler and yeah. then just john wick their way out nah, of the situation. it was fucked up they just turned up on each other and oh then, okay so it know, wasn't they, handled well <laughs> no no and the teachers would just watch like yeah fuck them up like, at this point if you were a teacher are you pulling up to school with a pistol um you know for sure i would for dude sure. i've seen some wild videos sure, maybe, of, of kids beating on teachers like male students beating the shit out of like female oh, teachers yeah. no way yeah. like 
yeah. ground and pound stuff. I've seen some shit like that too. It's Damn, fucked up, bro. Yeah, it's it's why it's a it's a it's a jungle out there. And that man. bitch is making eighteen an hour. Yes, <laughs> probably <laughs> less depending oh, on where man, she lives. No insurance. Oh, oh, that sucks. No benefits. Dude. She's got to buy her own supplies too. Yeah, own crutches, all that. Yeah, she paid for everyone's little pink erasers, and then <laughs> th that kid beat her into a coma. Dude, it's apparently the teachers uh, have to buy their own shit. Like the school doesn't provide it. Right, that's what that was the point. I okay, okay. <laughs> How about this? Let me read wow. you. I'll just read all the beats, okay. and that yeah, way, why not? The ones that we hit will will be in there. Guys, if you heard anything that you liked on this pod, go ahead and t take note of what David's saying. Maybe it's maybe one, one of them is one of these. It's one of these. <laughs> Medicate by Lethal Needle. Palabra by Ocel Beats. Superpower by K English Unlocked. Last Breath by Rayas Beats. It's a Vibe by Mero X Z. Wrong Turn by Lakes, Blush by Piper Beats, Hang Up Dance by Hooded Ninja, Out, Out Autumn by Rain, uh, no, Autumn Rain by Bailey Daniel, <laughs> Jesus, Only In My Dreams by Ian James, Market by Kubo, K-U-B-O, Smoke and Mirrors by Oliver Zhang, Succulent by Hooded Ninja, Urban by Old Doggy Beats, Drifting by Inferno, and Predator Inferno. by Johnny Slash. Inferno, Disco Inferno. <laughs> Fuck yeah, dude. We did it. I mean, what are you going to do? It's it's one of those. So just you should probably look up all those producers because they're all sick. Thanks. What what do you have planned for the rest of your time in California? We're going to shoot a couple more videos. We're going to uh, record a couple more tracks that we've been uh, working on and then hopefully get back and do some shows, man. That's the plan. OK, OK. Yeah. Well, when, when, you, when do you think you're returning? We'll be back um, in like uh, half a week. How about this? What? Oh, in half a week. Yeah. So you're going to be back next weekend? Yeah, yeah, tape shit, because well, we, we, <laughs> we might be taking a trip out to Colorado, too. I got you. Well, we could schedule a shoot then if you wanted to, because yes, that, that gives me some time to, you know, mentally prepare. There's 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 a part that, like, it, I, when, when, my, when in my brain I'm like, oh, hey, this weekend I'm just going to be sort of hanging out, maybe do a couple pods, Thanks. maybe watch a show, and then if someone is like, yo... Can you shoot tomorrow? I'm like, God. I mean, no. I don't. Yeah. <laughs> I but get it. no, I get if it. I got if I got some notice, I'm I'm definitely down to well, get yeah, something popping. If you have some some time off, like when you when you do come back and you want to do something, we could um we could also pull up the laptop and make some beats, have a little session or something yeah, like that, just to show. um just to keep the juices flowing. Uh, yeah, where where do you want the people to to listen to you, find you? Like, what are your yes, your sir. tags and shit? So at Shade Beats on everything. You can follow Ghost Mob as well for updates. You know, Ghost Mob. Yes, sir. That's a, there's an X in there, right? Yes, sir. Yeah, I G -H -X -S -T thought. G H X S T Mob. Okay. Yeah, yeah. I gotta oh, yeah. spell that. They're they're gonna be looking up Ghost Mob and not finding it. No, no, <laughs> and we'll we'll tag you. Go listen to Top Dog because in my opinion. Hey, that's, that's a motherfucking That's my son's classic. favorite song. Yeah? Bro, Hell yeah, Bro, dude. he's always telling me. He's like, Dad, play that song. <laughs> oh. play that. Like, I'm talking like 20 times a day. Hey, your son is adorable, too. Like, <laughs> yeah. he's in, little... Isn't he in the video? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> that, was, that was a top-notch talent to have in the video. Yes, sir. For sure. Who did that be? Um, who did? Uh, John, who was that dude that did Top Dog? Yeah, Noah got hits. Dude, Noah definitely got hits. Yeah, Shout we, out made, that we made a couple of hits with his shit. For sure. For sure. Well, yeah, dude. We'll yeah. Go check out Shade. Hopefully, uh, yes, we'll, we'll put this out ASAP and we'll chop a couple things up. Follow yes, Bamphomania on Instagram, TikTok, YouTube. Please like and subscribe if you listen to this all the way yeah. through. And if you want to support the show, go to patreon.com forward slash dome with Bamphomania. We're going to drop the price. Follow me at Salt and Satire and follow my guy. Yes, yeah, sir. Bubba Y, B U B B A W H Y Y. Any of your video needs I can fulfill. I will shoot anything. I have zero standards. <laughs> Thanks. Right. He's fire, too. <laughs> Hell yeah. We got the hey, endorsement. You there you go. Appreciate you guys. Shalom. Shalom.